on the coldest of days, Quentin Morris finds warmth in something familiar. The last time I was a student in this room was in 1996 when I graduated from this high school. Renton High School in South King County, the place where the student became an artist. I didn't know exactly that I would become a professional artist, but I always knew that I was destined to do something great. Where young Morris found greatness nearly 30 years ago by choosing the violin. Or maybe the violin picked me. I don't know. What he does know, he is one of the few top African-American violinists in the world, a virtuoso who has played with the best, selling out Carnegie Hall three times. I had an African-American professor who was a violinist um, taught me that there was this whole world um, that was just waiting for me to get out there and get in it. During this past year, Quentin embarked on a nine-month world tour. He performed in France, Malaysia, and Guadeloupe, while at the same time introducing his passion to underprivileged kids. It caused me personally to reflect on how thankful I am and how I have a really great life and having a great life can only be enriched if I give what I have back. Crescendo. Because inside the classroom, now a little less, Quentin less. Morris has found a new mission. Crescendo forte. To not only teach at the highest level, but to return to his roots where he believes he is now yeah. needed. It's needed everywhere, but it's really needed in South King County. To fill that need, he will open two studios at community centers in Renton and Maple Valley, part of his Key to Change project. His goal, to expose kids to classical music. I think exposure is everything, especially to students of color, because then they're able to relate to that person. They're able to say, wow, there's someone who looks just like me. I could aspire to be like that too. Quentin Morris setting a new tone where it all began. In Renton, Ryan Yamamoto, Como News.